to the theory on quadrilaterals, we start with the parallelogram. So, a parallelogram is a diagram where opposite pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Quadrilateral is a four sided figure. Parallelogram has four sides, four vertices. Pairs of opposite sides are parallel. These two are parallel, these two are parallel. And in any parallelogram, keep in mind, the opposite sides are equal. These two sides will be equal, these two will be equal. Opposite angles are equal. If these two are equal, these two will be equal. All pairs of adjacent angles will be supplementary. These two add up to 180, these two add up to 180, these two add up to 180, these two add up to 180. Why is that two? Two parallel lines cut by a transversal, these two are supplementary. Two parallel lines cut by a transversal, these two are supplementary. If this angle is supplementary with this and with this, these two are equal. So, opposite angles are equal, adjacent angles are supplementary, opposite sides are equal, opposite sides are parallel. On top of all this, is one other property, the diagonals bisect each other. So, AO is equal to OC, BO is equal to OD. The diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So, keep that in mind. So, diagonal, the pro parallelogram properties, opposite sides are parallel and equal, opposite angles are equal, all pairs of adjacent angles are supplementary diagonals bisect each other. Let us go to the other shapes. One is a rhombus. Rhombus is a parallelogram where all four sides are equal. So, anything that holds good for a parallelogram will hold good for a rhombus. Opposite sides will be parallel, opposite sides will be equal, all sides are equal. All pairs of adjacent angles will be supplementary, opposite angles will be equal, all of that will hold good. On top of all of this, the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. So, this angle is 90. We already know that the diagonals bisect each other. Right? We also know that the diagonals will be perpendicular to each other. Or effectively, the diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other. In a rhombus, diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other. Go to the next shape, rectangle. Rectangle is a parallelogram where all angles are 90. So one angle is 90, all, ang all angles should be 90. Again, everything that holds good for a parallelogram will hold good for a rectangle. Adjacent angles supplementary, opposite angles equal, all angles are 90. So, all of this should hold good default. Opposite sides parallel and equal. On top of all of this, the diagonals of a rectangle will be equal in length. So, AO will be equal to OC anyway because of the parallelogram, therefore it bisects. AC equal to BD or AO equal to BO equal to CO equal to DO. In a, in a parallelogram, diagonals bisect each other. In a rhombus, diagonals bisect each other and are perpendicular to each other. In a rectangle, diagonals bisect each other and are equal in length. Go to a square. A square is a parallelogram where all four sides are equal and all four angles are equal to 90 degrees. It's a rhombus and a rectangle. So, this, for a square, if you look at diagonals, the diagonals will be equal in length, they will bisect each other and they will be perpendicular to each other. So, in a square, the diag diagonals are equal perpendicular bisectors of each other. So, in any square, the diagonals will be perpendicular to each other, they will bisect each other and they will be equal. So, AO equal to OC equal to BO equal to OD and AC is perpendicular to BD. So, the next type of diagram, leaving out the idea of a parallelogram, we will go beyond parallelogram. A shape where only one pair of sides is parallel called the trapezoid or a trapezium. So the American system calls it trapezoid, the British system calls it trapezium. Now, in any trapezium, trapezium or trapezoid, one pair of sides is parallel. So, these two angles will be supplementary. Two parallel lines cut by a transversal. These two will be supplementary. But remember, opposite angles need not be equal. Opposite angles will not be equal. Because if opposite angles turn out to be equal, then it will become a parallelogram. And so, Two pairs of adjacent angles are supplementary, one pair of sides is parallel, the other pair is not parallel. Now, one important property in a trapezoid is that the diagonals of a trapezoid cut each other in the same proportion or AO by OC equals BO by OD. This by this equals this by this. You can prove this using the idea of similar triangles. So keep that in mind. See if you can prove that. Go to the next quadrilateral, an isosceles trapezoid. An isosceles trapezoid is a symmetric diagram. What do I mean by that? These two base angles are equal, x and x. These two top angles are equal, 180 minus x, 180 minus x. 
this looks the same way this side and this side in an isosceles trapezoid the non parallel sides are equal ab is parallel to cd ad and bc will be equal and the parallel sides cannot be equal the non parallel sides are equal an isosceles trapezoid can be inscribed inside a circle it's a cyclic quadrilateral the final thing about an isosceles trapezoid if you draw a line be that is parallel to ad then a b e d will be a parallelogram and b e c will be an isosceles triangle an isosceles trapezoid can be broken into a parallelogram and an isosceles triangle isosceles triangle isosceles trapezoid is a symmetric diagram a diagram where the non parallel sides are equal to them go to the next type of shape this is a kite a kite is a shape where pairs of adjacent sides are equal the quadrilateral where these two are equal these two are equal now if i draw the diagonals of a kite they will be perpendicular to each other and one diagonal will bisect the other so ao equal to oc ac is perpendicular to bd ac will not bisect bd the diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other it will become a rhombus so why will this be true think about this abc is an isosceles triangle if i draw the perpendicular bisector of ac it will pass through b acd is an isosceles triangle if i draw the perpendicular bisector of ac that will pass through d or perpendicular bisector of ac passes through b and d or bd is a perpendicular bisector of ac one diagonal will be the perpendicular bisector of the other next shape cyclic quadrilateral one very important property in any cyclic quadrilateral opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary okay. opposite angles if this is x then this is 180 minus x this is y then this will be 180 minus y opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary we have already established this and proved this when we did repeat on circles okay. last type of quadrilateral the quadrilateral that circumscribes a circle the quadrilateral that goes around a circle every side of the quadrilateral is a tangent to the circle in any quadrilateral like this sum of pairs of opposite sides is equal or ab plus cd equals ad plus bc again because you been so good and hung around with me till the end of this quadrilateral section i want to prove that let's say these points are p q r s dp equal to dq tangents from a point ap equal to ps tangents from a point bs equal to br cq equal to cr let's say this is x this will be x sorry this is y this will be y this is z this will be z so sum p will be p ab plus cd is p plus z plus y plus x ab plus bc p plus x plus z plus y these two are equal this is proved using just that idea tangents from a point are equal in one that's it once you apply that we get sum of pairs of opposite sides is equal in a quadrilateral that circumscribes a circle okay. so parallelogram rectangle rhombus square trapezoid isosceles trapezoid kite cyclic quadrilateral a quadrilateral that circumscribes a circle lot of quadrilaterals to keep in mind diagonal properties angle properties what lies underneath it's a, it's a very important exercise because you can get some freebie from this be able to nail that straight away.